What is the most you would pay for dinner? What if the dinner was 18 courses, prepared by a Michelin-starred chef, and eaten while flying 40,000 feet above Southeast Asia in a $50 million private jet? For Vincent and Jane He, the answer was $2 million U.S. dollars. The Singaporean couple bought a meal, heralded as the world's most exclusive dinner in January of 2020. But how could one dinner possibly be worth such a princely sum? And are splurges like this morally responsible in a world with so much need? Like any good tale, there is more to this story once you start slowly peeling back the layers. The man behind the world's most exclusive dinner is philanthropist and World of Diamonds director Koran Talani. In 2018, he traveled to the Nigerian state of Akwebom to visit the Land of Hope, a center operated by a Danish nonprofit organization that houses and educates innocent children in Nigeria who are accused of being cursed and then cast from their homes. According to long-held superstitions, if a crop fails, a farm animal dies, or a relative becomes ill, a possessed child could be to blame. Quran is building a hospital for poor children near the Land of Hope. It's part of a larger goal to eradicate pneumonia in Akwebom, which is the leading cause of death in children under five years old. That's where the world's most exclusive dinner comes in. Every cent of the $2 million price tag will go to purchasing 20,000 pneumococcal vaccines for children in Nigeria. We try and merge the worlds of ultra-luxury and the world of philanthropy. I think wealth and influence is a responsibility. It's not to be taken for granted. We feel there is an obligation to give back. Offers to purchase the dinner came in from Russia, China, and the Middle East. In the end, Vincent and Jane He were chosen. I was really sad to hear about the rich children. I went back and did some research. I think it's something worth to do to help. And I decided to take out this dinner. Of course, I'm honored that they have chosen me as the buyer. He kept the details under wraps. Little did Jane know, their dinner expenditure, the single largest charitable donation the couple had ever made, was actually a two-day extravaganza with a private cruise on a Ferretti 780 luxury yacht, a chauffeured Rolls Royce, a romantic night in the presidential suite at the iconic Raffles Singapore, and a rare two-carat cushion-cut vivid blue diamond ring named after actress and philanthropist Jane Seymour. And every bit of it, from the dinner to the jet to the diamond ring, was donated. He may have known more details about the dinner than Jane, but he couldn't have expected what British chef Kirk Westaway of Singapore's one Michelin-starred restaurant, John, had in store. The butterflies is it's quite a pretty course. It took us a couple of days, me and my sous chef, to put it together. Real visually appealing, but also tastes fantastic, with a little bit of caviar and a smoked eel and a potato chip. The ceramic egg I designed myself from a, a company in Bali. Inside we have a custard of egg white, and we take the egg yolk separately and cook it in olive oil for one hour, and then we recombine the ingredients inside the egg. We smoke the egg yolk and we add caviar, some pickled onions, and smoked mushrooms inside the dish. For the bit of display, we've put uh, all the eggs in our basket with some dry ice and we have a bit of smoke to create a bit of excitement when we serve the dish as well. So we've got some fatty tuna belly mixed with some ponzu sauce, light ponzu sauce, and some flowers that we grow from a farm here in Singapore. This is designed just to match the style of the chopsticks. Westaway is referring to two pairs of diamond-encrusted chopsticks, which will be given to the Hees during the dinner. Donated by Worlds of Diamond, each set is valued at $17,000 each. People's expectations are kind of low and negative towards English food, what it's been known for for the last 50 to 100 years, and I'm really trying to match or change people's opinions of what they believe English food is. Uh, I'm really focusing on the best ingredients sourced from ideally UK, but a bit of Europe as well. Very seasonal, uh, very organic, very artisanal. Ingredients are looked after from small farmers when they really appreciate and like the ingredients they work with. Really work on some classic dishes, but reinvent it in my own style, a lot lighter, a lot fresher, a lot cleaner. After spending around two years on the menu, Westaway had to make some changes when he found out the he's are both allergic to shellfish. Oysters, abalone, prawns, and langoustines were out. But thankfully, Westaway's dessert plans weren't affected. 
Soda Ribena is a, a very classic drink from the UK. It was designed in the Bristol University in 1938. People from all across the globe have come in and tasted it in the restaurant and it reminds them of their childhood. I drank it as a boy. My father used to make it in the winter with lemon. So in the glass today, we did lemon granite with fresh pomelo and the Ribena flavored sorbet. We make fresh blackcurrants into a sorbet and serve that together. Serving a fine dining meal on a private jet is not short of challenges. Altitude affects how food tastes, and equipment and space are limited. Then there was the issue of serving 18 courses within four hours. With one hour lost to takeoff and landing, Westaway and his sous chef did a pre-flight dry run to calculate how long it took to prepare, plate, serve, eat, and clear each course. Every dish is kind of five to six minutes and leaving us enough time to pack up and sit down and put our belts on before we come to land. On January 28th of 2020, the Hees boarded a 14-passenger jet from luxury air carrier O-Jets. As the flight departed from Singapore's Salitar Airport, the Hees contemplated their lives, which stand in stark contrast to those of the children at Land of Hope. Over flutes of Dom Perignon and plates of Brittany turbot and Wagyu steak, the couple enjoyed a meal that may soon help thousands of young Nigerians. Children like Hope, who was found like this, and who one year after being rescued by Land of Hope look like this. Where worlds collide, diamonds and disease, persecution and private jets. Can luxury be used to save lives? If we can organize things like this to make the world a better place, why not?